Hi, I'm Beth. I'm a math teacher, and I'm going to show you how to turn a fraction into a percent by using division. What's exciting here is that division is actually inherent to the whole idea. When you set up a percent, you're actually saying, well, what is the part per the whole? Here I used per just the same way you would if you were to say per cent or per 100. How many parts per 100? If I have 80 out of 100, I have 80 parts per 100 my whole. I have 80 per cent. It's not always so easy though, right? So say we're living in a town and there are only 40 people in the town, so that's the whole town. 40 people, that's the whole town. And 12 of them have cars. It's a very provincial town. So 12 have cars and someone says, okay, well tell me what percent of the people in this very small little village have cars. And you're going to have to actually do this division. It's written as a fraction right now, and you can use this to do division. The same thing is it's set up as a division problem. 12 divided by 40, another way to say that fraction. So we'll actually do that. We'll say 12 divided by 40. It looks crazy because the small number is inside the shed, but we're going to make it work because we're actually going to add zeros, right? So when you put a decimal down, you put your decimal up here in your quotient as well, and then you can add as many zeros as you need. Because guess what? 40 goes into 12 less than one time, so you're definitely going to get a decimal. Now, 40 does not go into 12. 40, however, does go into 120. How many times? Three. So I put my three over the final uh, place value here, and three times 40 is 120. Fantastic. We've gotten our decimal to show our decimal equivalent. So here, 12 over 40 is the same as 3 tenths, written just like this. Now, how can I make this into a percentage? I just multiply it by 100. So I have 0 0.3 times 100, and that will give me my percent. When we're dealing with decimals, it's really easy to see that 100 just moves my decimal over two place values. So I've got one, two place values to get me to one, and I've got one, two place values to get me to 30%. And that is how you can use division to take a fraction and make it into a percentage. I'm Beth. Hope you have fun with fractions.